Welcome in, guys, once again to the YGO Fresh Off The Press community, where we analyze the current pulse trends and forecast of the Yu-Gi-Oh! markets. We're here to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh! market watch cardboard addiction, guys. You already know. Also, smash that subscribe button, guys. Like this video as it helps the algorithm find more people like you guys to join our amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! community. I just laugh because when I make this you know these videos i'm always smiling i have a great energy great vibes and all that is you know what i receive from the community because you guys are amazing don't forget to click the notification bell to stay tuned with our latest and greatest fresh off the press videos guys thank you so much again you guys are the mvps man you guys get me up every single day to pump out these daily market watches with great value great content that's what we're here for to provide this for the community also remember that this content is not any official financial advice is created for entertainment purposes only guys today's video a little disclaimer i mean you guys are gonna probably see that by the time i upload it obviously with the length but i'm not concerned with length to length today i know some people might prefer prefer shorter videos or some people longer some people are just fine with the 20 to 30 minute average time frame you know for me it's all about the value it's all about giving back it's all about doing the research putting in the work and then providing that to my community so if it takes long if another day is short then it is what it is and you know hopefully most people are fine with that but today today's video is all about edison format guys look at this just two days ago we made a poll asking what is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh format of all time you know of course uh, there's goat format edison dad hat dragon ruler you know and there's other formats but you know it, it only gets it gives you or allows you five options so i went with what i considered to be you know the most popular uh based on the Yu-Gi-Oh community and look to, not to my surprise again 75 votes votes so that's considerable guys and 57 that means essentially like 40 out of the 75 you know um people which is a lot chose edison wow i was surprised actually you know what i mean because goat was always that go-to format some people don't like it it's other people's like that's too old that goes too way back the pace is slow you know what i mean it's just not my cup of tea i don't like the band list not too many options deck options this that and the other and that's fine those are all good and well valid points i mean it was the second best choice based on percentage with 19 followed by dragon ruler and then obviously hat and that format you know below those but again we're making a goat format video coming soon you know in the next couple of days by the end of this week so stay tuned for that just for those people me personally my favorite format is goat you know it was the one that was around when i first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh. i mean when i started it, there was no balance so that's crazy um i, I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh right when it came out it's just it gives me nostalgia to know that i you know i played when it first came out it was amazing back then still amazing today there's so many other great formats and um i love go format i can't wait to make that video for you guys for those people you know out there like me but as we can see most people prefer edison so that's why i started you know off the bat straight with edison format today's video we're gonna discuss and cover everything but before we do guys again these, look at these these never get old um we have discord link in the description down below and then we also have twitter you know for those people that do have twitter as well so get to the cards jay all right let's get to the cards then here are the cards well not the cards really but you guys you guys get the gist i mean there was uh, actually someone let, let me see where was that there, there was a comment um made by by a community member um where can i find that he actually asked it was in one of, oh here right here look look at that wow i just found it three hours ago what is edison format i missed a few years playing so for gree if that's your name this video is definitely for you look at that you asked this question just a couple of hours ago and i already had this video we went in the lab to create this market watch for you and similar minded people i mean 57 percent of you guys wanted it so here it is edison format what is that jay what is edison format all right so we have the shonen jump championship edison in april 2010 i mean many of you some of you know where it comes from what format it is is one of your favorite but you know for people like Gree and other people that might not know we're gonna briefly educate them edison format is a synchro era format with a highly regarded ban list it's extremely popular and arguably the fastest growing retro Yu-Gi-Oh format 
Its name comes from the 75th Shonen Jump Championship, which was held in Edison, New Jersey. Edison is famous for its open-ended deck building and highly diverse meta game. However, it was short-lived as the Shining Darkness was illegal at the next premiere event, enabling the notorious Frog FTK. So here, you know, in this page, I might leave this link in the description down below. Hopefully I don't forget. Let me make sure I set this to the side hopefully i don't forget guys um but but yeah because why this this is a great site you know it has uh, uh events that people participate in the ban list which we're gonna discuss very brief and you know in a brief moment and then it has the popular decks as well so you had black wings back in the day diva zombie hero beat value turbo light swarms my personal favorite from back then from that format deck that I, I already built you know i might throw that uh deck list up you know for you guys um you know should i open edo pro live why not guys why not let's see if we can find that here for you guys let's see edison format i believe is it this one i think this is my list if not it's this one it's one of those guys you know what i mean but look at that i have it i've been working on it you know um on the dl just trying to get as high rarities as I can for these. I have a couple of OT secrets, you know, things of that nature. But again, this is not a completed list because in my locals, there's no Edison. So I haven't made any changes, but it's just that draft where, again, I prefer Light Sworn. Some people, you know, there's so many diverse options for the format, but I love Light Sworns. It's one of my, my favorite decks of all time. You know what I mean? So there, you can stop the video if you briefly want to go over these again if you want me to go more in depth as well and maybe a future video make sure you leave a description down below but this is what i run for the format but again there's six main options here but plenty of options and again that's why the disclaimer so many cards that we're going to discuss today and so many other ones that i still could have discussed because there's so many cards in this format that were relevant that were prevalent and things of that nature so we're going to discuss just the ones that i believe that are the most important important and then go from there guys so yeah uh, basically you have the, the the popular decks here and then the ban list as well so i mean again uh let's just briefly look at black wings here you have um you know the main cards uh here it says two of these one of these three of these so again you have the extra deck and the side deck so that's for black wings again a very very popular aggro deck back in that edison format as well and again guys i mean i could go into each of these but it would take an extended period of time if you want me to go over we can do another edison video you know at, a, at another moment but really focusing going in deep into the different decks you know what to pick up what to snipe and the value of those specific cards and also do more of a deep dive on the ban list as well today we're just going to show it very briefly look at that all these cards were forbidden my go cards man look at that metamorphosis faith magician of cyber jar and boy the beginning pot no graceful no <laughs> that hurts i love go guys but yeah i mean you see the ban list plenty large large ban list there then limited look at all these cards at, at one they barely fit on the screen just so many cards at one back at that time wow look at all these lists guys it's incredible again you can stop the image if you want just briefly have a look you know just to get an idea and then you have the semi-limited cyber dragon dandelion you know jd um you know chain strike and just so many different skill dream was broken back in the day so many cards that were broken that had to be put at least at two ultimate offering as well broken cards so yeah yeah just so you guys have an idea this was the ban list in 20 march 2010 so i mean i might leave you know the link in the description down below as well for you guys so getting to the actual cards you know we're going to discuss different edison cards ones that you could consider depending on the deck that you would be playing and also as an investment you know because if other people play this deck they're going to come after these cards and that's what we want to do we want to know what are the good edison investment plays so recently quick draw synchron just got an ultra rare reprint and legendary uh duelist season three i believe that's underrated why because most printings are commons you do have a dt you do have an original well a legendary collection 5d's ultra rare but that's at a higher price you know what i mean and then the the turbo pack super that's up there guys so i would focus on this one again 
you want to you can't take cheek for, for granted you want to go in early and you want to be exposed to these cars look at these major walls at 66 cents so again a place set for just a couple of shekels 75 listings only so don't sleep on this card again it was prevalent back during edison i believe this was the actual deck that actually won the event so it's definitely a very good solid pick for you know uh, uh that deck which that deck was a solid pick back then so you definitely want to be exposed to this card it's super cheap don't let this card be a couple of bucks five bucks down the road because edison becomes even more popular and lo many other locals start you know uh accepting this format and then the need and the demand rises the supply is low you definitely want to be exposed to a card like this so we move on to pot of avarice guys this card is broken you know I, I love this card again not as many printings as you would think i mean it does have plenty of commons it does have the original print super rare and then you have the new pot collection ultra rare as well um but other than that the one that i would focus on you have a champion pack rare gold rare ultra rare from dr4 wow that's value right there but this is it i can't believe how undervalued this card is it's just amazing to me it's a secret rare guys essentially it's max rarity you know because the ultra from dr4 harder to get but you know this is secret rare max rarity currently at eight to nine dollars this is a bargain this is a straight up steal i mean some people play it at one two even at three in certain decks why and look there's only 26 listings insanity uh you know and the sellers only have ones so not many sellers with multiples guys before it's a 15 to 20 dollar card not too many pages left insane so why it's just a broken card target five monsters in your graveyard shuffle all five into the deck and then draw two why not it is an insane card definitely used you know um, back in the day in edison and it's crazy even today i mean i see that card it makes me want to play it why it's just broken it, 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 it is a, such a great card guys then we have stardust dragon the star of the show broken card super famous card super popular and back in the day it was synchro era you know it was the synchro format and you know stardust dragon shines in such a format it's just broken it protects from destruction and it floats as well and uh you know there's plenty of printings but most of them are holographic you know actually rares and above for the most part is there even a common yeah there's like one common printing so it's not as easy to get as you would think of course you know um it does have secret rares and ultras and higher rarities also has the collector rare as well um and then you have the ghost rare the old t's i don't know why tcg when you search stardust dragon why doesn't it just like put all of them let's see right here um yeah so here we go it puts other type of, of star dragons and that's why i don't like man tcg man but yeah you have the old t the ghost rare the the starlight rare okay and then the collector rare so wow stardust is one of those iconic cards that just has every rarity you could think of essentially really commons rares supers ultras secrets you know and then you even have the collectors the ot the ghost the starlight insane man is there a rarity that uh well we need prismatic secrets that that'd be insane but you guys get to just you know plenty of rarities but they're all expensive for the most part you know of course there's budget options and that's the good thing to have budgets uh stardust dragons right here the alternate art ultra this is what i would target guys if you're playing edison you need stardust which most people run in their extra deck under 100 listings you know there's a major wall so that's good the supply is there per se but the demand is also there look at that just people always buying up this holographic copy alternate art stardust dragon i have a couple of copies around there myself me personally for my deck i think i actually play this one um if i'm not mistaken i do i do i think i do and because all these high rarities they're already up there in price so i think and i like the alternate art so you know i love this card and then starlight road also is a card that goes with this that will definitely discuss later in the market watch then we have black rose dragon another iconic card that goes in many extra decks for this format you do have secret rare looks that's beautiful 
you know and then you have the first that original print uh ultra rares then you have duelist sag saga again the dusa just so underrated and then you have you know a common and a couple of other ultras and commons and golds not as many printings as you would think guys just what nine printings wow under 10 printing and you know a couple of commons here and there but the card is just not as easy to get as you would think you know if you look around locals and things like that no one has this card right so when we notice things like that and it was such a prevalent card um in such a great retro format you know this is the one that i would focus on just at a personal level i love dusa i just do you know at a buck 20 still a great price quickly goes up to two bucks a pop just 35 listings guys so i would get this card sooner rather than later but for those people that don't like dusa again you have you know a, a clean ultra rare where is it where is it let's see where are you from legendary collection oh it's just a common i thought there was an ultra rare around there there might but i mean you got the dual devastator as well but i would focus on any of these other ultra copies as well just to have access to the card and then you can these are penny stonks for edison or my not a bad card to snipe up then you have the most the more expensive side to it where junk archer it's it goes in a specific deck strategy for um edison so again only two printings insane insanity you have the first uh at original print where this is where it first came out and then you have the legendary collection ultra which looks way cleaner and, and just a modern more feel and look to it this is the one that i would go with but again low listings for each just two printings insane have you cleaned this up wow 20 to 21 dollar card quickly goes up to 25 i don't know i think it might be getting reprinted i don't know i think that was a rumor but again in the comment down below you can clarify that for the community but again regardless broken card and uh you know great effect and not just not enough printings and you can see the edison demand just pushing this card up in price then we have armory arm look at that just such this is just value guys this value only has four printings uh, ultra rare original print turbo pack rare then you have the uh legendary collection 5d secret rare looks clean but then you have the underrated copy look at that from hidden arsenal chapter one people are like ah, hidden arsenal no one's opening that you know no one cares about it we don't care about all those dual terminals and it's just a, a bad product and this that and the other but then they forget guys when when hey hey when they forget we remember guys it's simple it had great great promotional cards armory arm is one of them we went over power to in a previous one we went over uh what was it there's a couple uh, it's with f that card with f man my brain sometimes guys you guys might relate where are you where are you here you go formula synchron power to just so many underrated uh, um cards in this set skill drain is great you know but yeah that's not a, a, a promo card but yeah so many underrated promos guys but for edison's purpose this card is underrated undervalued for a good while look at that it was a buck 50 that's when i got me a stack of these and they're freshly printed in their packs they're mint guys why because at a dollar dollar 50 i'm like this thing is money just four printings look at that if we clean this up again that's good to see walls that's good see a couple of walls here 200 copies at three dollars and 23 cents that's great it gives you guys the opportunity for 10 bucks to get a place that if you need it for edison there you go not bad but just 28 listings guys so keep that in mind the demand is coming in not a lot of supply as you would think of course a couple of major walls but then it's quickly quickly a five dollar card guys and honestly other than that one major wall that's it there's just the well you have a 14 wall here right a couple of places but then after that the card the card dries up and you don't want to wait until this is a five dollar card or maybe a ten dollar card in the future to be paying two three extra money no you buy now and then you profit when other people come in from other communities people that weren't informed they come in they need the card and you're there to supply them with it then you move on to miss worm guys guys there's only a couple of printings of this is four printings let's actually look it up here because again the dual terminal one doesn't pop up unless you search it this way 
man. TCG. But here we are. Here we are. We only have four printings of Mistworm. Guys, Mistworm is broken. It just simply is. And we're going to discuss the effect briefly. But look at that. You have the original print DTs. They look nice, by the way. Um, then you have the Ultra Rare from Legendary Collection. Then you have the Hidden Arsenal. <clears throat> excuse me. Hidden uh, Secret Rare. And then you have the new dual terminal technology from again the same set hidden arsenal they reprinted a couple of edison cards i'm grateful for that because this copy looks nice i like it actually some people do some people don't looks a little bit darker than the other printings but again guys it's all about investing in the in the in the case where you want a plus and profit but first and foremost and foremost get access to the cards that you need so again if we clean this up here we do see first of all 68 listings only the card is still a dollar that's good but after this playset leaves and a couple of listings then it's at a dollar 27 that's a 25 percent increase after just a couple of listings guys don't sleep on this card it does have a couple of ones but then quickly goes up to a dollar 50 and eventually to two bucks quick so again this card is budget right now that's great i have a stack put away why same deal edison format card not many printings just four and this card is hard to get in itself because no one's opening this pack and in, in this set guys so don't take cheap for granted you guys already know look it's cheap today why not expose yourself if you need the card and then buy a couple extra slap it in the binder forget about it then if edison you know keeps getting hype what do you think this card is going to be worth definitely a couple of bucks you know it's already on his way to two bucks but i see this at five bucks one day easy so that's a two 2.5x easy money guys then we move on to red dragon archfiend guys not many printings for these edison cards that's the common theme today and that's where you can find value again you have a common rare common by the way this rare is from torba pack so not bad then you have a super rare ultra rare from legendary collection ultra rare first at original print and then you have the secret rares from the tin guys personally i got me this copy first you know this was the one that i focus on because uh, why not? Look at that. The zero percent is basically a $20 card. Wow. I got it for like eight bucks. Not too long ago, like a month ago. But again, this just shows seven listings. The demand is here for Edison. Just look at that spike. Wow. I got him. Yeah, I got him around here, guys. And not too long ago. And uh, look at that spike. Boom. Up to 20. Not many listings. People need him. Most extra decks run him. So, hey, I mean wow it's just crazy to see it pan out this way but me personally i got the ghost here man it, you know managed to trade for it re recently so when i have the opportunity to get my hands on ghost rares i go for it you know like these again really i don't have many ghost rares from ghosts from the past and things of that nature but when this one specifically fits in edison i i needed it for my deck to upgrade the secret rare that i also have and i'm like why not so i might sell the the, the secret rare because i'm already up to x on that you know and they'll just stay with this why because it looks clean it's a hard card to get this ghost rare 25 listings again just i mean who's buying these who's cracking goes from the past two nowadays you know what i mean so it's gonna get harder and harder to get and uh it's scarce and it's ghost rare i love how it looks it looks beautiful in my extra deck just giving you guys option then we move on to drill warrior guys look at that. the common theme just four printings just four you have a rare a super rare an ultra but then you have the secret this is what i would grab i personally have a play set of this in the binder just in case you never know why because when i see cards like these max rarity hard to get it ready from the legendary collection 5ds 23 listings only currently a five dollar card guys not many walls not many walls it's quickly a ten dollar card look at that and eventually a 15 14 15 dollar card with the first and only wall with you know three play sets and that extra copy so i see this still five dollars if you need this card guys just just grab it max rarity put it slap it in your extra deck and then if you can maybe get an extra copy here and there for the binder you won't regret it because this card is super hard to get max rarity looks so clean guys so definitely a card that you want to keep in mind same for alley of justice cataster i believe that if i didn't kill that name again guys so look you have dt from dt1 you have uh, ultra rares you have the dt preview that's insane uh you have common super so a lot of easy access printings that's good even this you know look at that supply they killed the supply of this card per se beautiful ultra rare just clean copy if you need it but me you know me we go for the secret rare why because we understand that fine balance you know between price 
scarcity, accessibility, and just the beauty of the card, guys. Personally, I bought the OT not knowing that it was part of Edison. You know, more than a year ago, I just saw this ultimate rare. I was like, I was skimming through Turbo Pack OTs and I'm like, what? This is a 20 bu $20 card? Why not? And then I bought it for 20 bucks and then Edison hype came through and now it's wow. There's a wall here at $80, but it quickly reaches a hundred plus dollars. That's triple digits, guys. Why? And that thing looks clean. I just got one. I have it in my extra deck for, with my lights when a deck, I believe so do I, I think we play this. I think, but I have one copy and the thing looks nice. But again, there's budget options. This is what I would focus on, guys. The secret rare is not the prettiest looking card, honestly. I mean, here based on this picture, but when you see it and in real life, it's not bad. It is not bad. And we do see here just nine listings, just nine. What? I bought a but like a playset at three dollars and I put ten dollars in, bro. I'm like. You know, going through Edison and then I'm like, 10 bucks, bro. Gets me a playset. Yeah, count me in. I got my playset. And uh, now it's a $5 card. Guys, if you need the card, don't wait on it. It's just, it's getting scooped up. Just nine listings. And it quickly becomes a 10 and then a $20 secret rare. Why again? The Edison hype. Edison demand. You know, it's very prevalent right now as a retro format. And you want to get these cards sooner rather than later. Because why? These rarities, these... Uh, uh, uh upgrades people like to bump up rarities and things of that nature they might start with the common or ultra but then they're going to want this clean copy and you don't want to be the guy paying 20 billies for this card oh uh, because now you want to get into edison and no 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 pay five billies and if you can snipe a couple up so that then you know you can list it over here and get that three to the four x easy peasy then we move on to black wing armored or Arm armor master I don't know why they didn't reprint this card um, in uh, Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge as an ultra rare, as a, as a secret rare. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, I don't know why they left all these printings here. You know, look at that. It's essentially a $20 card everywhere you look at. Why? Like, just give us, if you're ready, reprinting a Starlight rare, like, just give us that budget version. Usually they do. So I was surprised that they didn't in this set. So, due to that, the demand, look at that $20 Blackwing Armor Masters. If you have any copy, you're sitting on 20 billies and you most likely paid less before the Edison hype because people that own this card usually they either play Blackwing themselves or they are Blackwing lovers or you know they just got the card you know because all of these are old essentially you know in the past and now it's money so make sure to plus and profit on those moves if that's your desire but overall a card that is the that is using Blackwing so definitely one to keep in mind in the starlight excuse me at 110 120 dollars not bad if you're playing the deck if i would be playing black wings i'd do it bro uh, you know in a heartbeat i'd buy the starlight at just 100 billy triple digits and it's definitely a card that is going to get harder to get and that i expect you know to go up in price in the future then we have brio guys just a broken card broken card honestly guys it's just too good it's too good i don't think we went over a uh, mystic worm uh, miss worms effect we need to definitely go over that so let me just open that here but before we do brio guys not as many printings as you would think um but again you definitely want to make sure that you have as access to that card why because it's broken you have the original dt that's up there in price the secret rares are also going up but you have a super rare gold you know all super and another ultra all these budget options are lovely the one that i would focus on would be um the duelist saga one just beautiful it's just straight up beautiful at a dollar a dollar twenty hey now is the time it quickly goes up to a dollar fifty and then it goes up to two bucks. You don't want to pay that if you can pay a dollar, a dollar and some scraps. So 39 listings only. Beautiful from Dusa. Again, if not that, then you, oh man, it, let me see. Then you want to get the secret rare. That's the one that I got. I think I paid like 10 bucks for it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. This one. Yeah, I think I paid like $10 for this. Uh, let's clean it up first. Oh my God, there's no first ads. I don't know. I don't remember if mine was first ad or not, honestly need to double check because there's no listings for first ed but even the unlims look at that quickly a 15 dollar card just 26 listings card looks beautiful and look at that effect discard any number of cards then return basically bounce the same number of cards from the field to the it's just stupid. that man edison for you guys miss the same thing when this card is synchro summon return up to three cards your opponent controls to their hand insane bro three cards 
Uh, that's like three compulses just because he came to the field. Insanity, guys. Insane Edison format. Get these cards before you pay more for them. Then we also have Thought Ruler Archfiend. DT is five, six bucks. There's only four printings. You do have the budget option from Brothers of Legend. Not bad at all. Plenty of listings. So no worry on having access to the card. But, you know, you have the first set original print ultra. I would go for the secret, guys. This card looks beautiful. You know, I personally bought it for um my extra deck look at that four dollars that's good that's great value only 30 listings four or five dollars i see this easy at ten dollars sooner rather than later great card great effect most people use it in their extra decks in edison make sure you expose yourself to the card at just five bucks no excuses same for Go goyo guardian oh yeah that's how you say killed the name but yeah guys goyo guardian <laughs> um again it does have plenty of listings per se not as many as you would think you do have the budget options commons ultra rares dusa looks beautiful look at that orange background it's like it's on fire or something you know what i mean then you have the clean super rare from legendary collection as well first that original print ultra uh, you know me i would go either the dt um which looks really nice um obviously dusa but if not that's a good plenty of choices this is the one that i bought personally i had the ot i bought it years ago and i didn't know i just bought it because it was cheap and you know it's like lightly played or something so it's not mint but again this secret rare let's see i bought one just to have an extra copy in case you know i don't want to play the ot or whatever i like having extra copies of these edison decks or i might build a second edison deck and then i have the secret rare i might actually do that but you know looking into that at a 12 13 quickly goes up to 15 and 20 only eight listings one page card is getting bought out targeted look at it spiking insanity the demand is here not bad to get your copy still at around 12 13 bucks because i do see this at a 20 at 20 billies soon hard to get card from 2008 guys man you guys already know then we have colossal fighter this was the other ot that i bought i bought cataster and colossal both at 20 bucks so i paid 40 bucks for both and uh, again only four printings one of them is ultimate rare and it's been going retracing a little bit um, but if we clean this up, only eight listings quickly becomes a triple digi card, a hundred billies. Currently at 86, quickly goes up to 89 and then 90. Man, the value is up there. Why? Hard card to get from Torbo Pack Booster 5. Insane to get this card. Ultimate rare max rarity. I'm glad I have this in my in my extra deck. It just looks, guys, man. It just looks so nice. It, it does, honestly. I won't lie. But again, me? Ah, oh, Jay, that's good for you. You got the OT back then. You were lucky, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, that's true. So what do you got for me, Jay? I got no common knack. Gold rare. We don't do that, guys. We do secret rare. Looks clean and beautiful at $13.30. Not bad at all. I see this card being a $20 card really soon. Only 26 listings, as you can see down here. And the card has been spiking up. Used to be at you know uh, six seven dollars five dollars back in the day and now you can get it for double up of course you need to pay a premium but you don't want to play the triple up you know so better to get this card sooner rather than later guys then we move on to magical android again only four wow that's the common thing today guys only four printings once again low amount of listings currently you see here just seven listings nine listings 17 here for the super rare first that original print supers dt's uh, rares and then you have the ultra this is the one that i have for my extra deck guys got it around 10 bucks and now it's already up 30 percent wow already up to 13 billies quickly 15 and just 17 listings max rarity for this card don't sleep on these edison cards guys same deal for asian fairy dragon guy mine at five bucks the secret rare but again it just recently got reprinted with the errata here in maze of memory so that's great that's great to have this version here as a rare easy to get plenty of listings but don't sleep on this card just 150 listings just came out that means there's not as many as we would think just six printings I i'm gonna actually snipe this at 10 20 cents i see this at a dollar one day and that's a what 10 20x easy that's just money guys why not why not just get an r09 this 
and forget about it, even as a rare. But to play, mm, I would focus either on the Ultra Rare from Legendary Collection, which just has that modern look, that great feel, or the Legendary Collection Kaiba, which, by the way, you know, community member Ed asked for a marker watch based on this set, set, specific set, saying that some spikes are going on. We're going to definitely do that towards either late this week or early next week, so stay tuned. But I would either get this card from, uh, so it would be either this one, looks clean, this one, and yeah, this one looks colorful or just the secret rare. This is the one that I got for five billi billies and um, I love it. I love it. Five billies right now. I'm already up double, but it's in my extra deck. So I don't plan on selling this. Um, but yeah, it's already a 12, $13 card quickly goes up to 20, only 18 listings, a couple of pages, definitely a card that you want to consider. Uh, most of these cards are like around the same price range, like Goyo Guardian, you know, this card and the one they're like 12, 13. So again they all the demand is here so you definitely want to be exposed to these synchro extra deck monsters then specifically more for zombies for the most part <laughs> you have doom kazer dragon <clears throat> excuse me guys and then you also have revived king hades guys reprinted recently both in battles of legend crystal revenge you know for this one there's plenty of supply you can get this at 20s look at that under a quarter 18 cents just beautiful it just is it's just it's like free you know a dollar gets you more than a place that why not plenty of supply though so if investing don't really want to go in too deep me personally you know i have plenty of these just in case i mean you never know but supply side is massive but when this card gets hard to get it's going to be interested to know what happens but this one more, was more shorter uh, uh short printed in battles of legend crystal revenge so you do see the supply coming in after the initial spike just consolidating here sideways that's where you want to come in when you see that consolidation and if we clean this up you see only 130 listings and most of these sellers they do have a place at here a couple of places at there i won't lie a wall of almost a thousand copies at a dollar 30 just insanity gamers choice they should be called the wall choice why because they have major massive walls you know with so much supply but that's good that's good it gives you guys time for five bucks to get a place set. forget about this card and if you're playing the card then you can get a cheap copy but what do you think is going to happen when these uh, listings dry up they're going to take time i won't lie but i could see this at a five dollar card one day and that's an easy 3x not bad at all i have my stack put away you know why not then we move on to dark end dragon guys dark end dragons man 36 minutes we might do an hour today guys it is what it is special edison format episode dark and dragon hey i would focus on the secret rare of course only three printings because this was the sjc price card just impossible to get thousands of dollars why would he do that but super rare you know then you have the ultra from shonen jump and then the secret rare personally I would get the secret but you know we see that all copies are nine to ten bucks why because only three printings and most people need this in their extra deck only 16 listings don't wait don't let this be a 20 dollar card it's a card guys you heard it here first you're gonna find yourself needing this card for your extra deck you don't want to pay 2x you want to buy one for yourself maybe another one have it in the binder and then when it 2x's and you doubled up you get your money back and an extra ten dollars for some fries and some burgers guys you already know that but me i would go for the secret rare just look at that look at that we clean this up we see that unlimbs are around 10 11 bucks and thank god for this wall if you guys need this copy but it's unlimbs me i would go with the first that 15 billies quickly goes up to 20 just 10 listings only one page guys guys don't let this be a 20 to 30 dollar card why this card just looks beautiful this is the one that i have and it, guys look, look at that artwork it's like a clown in the middle of the, of the yo that thing looks crazy that thing looks fresh off the press just like our channel then we move on to kaya's the shadow monarch guys so many great edison cards that ot wow that ot just man the way that it shines you know the, the 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 ball whatever of energy there it is priceless guys but you know we we don't do that, that that's kind of up there guys a place that would be what like 750 uh or 1g a rack oh man yeah nah man look look what we do here we don't do i mean first uh you know original print from was it this one i think so from the structure deck not bad not bad ultra rare right you have a rare you have a gold series ultra common gold man we keep it simple we keep it clean ots pack 19 just came out recently you know 
And uh, this super rare, I don't know why they don't have the picture. I have a stack put away. Why? This is a card that is going to get harder to get. And it's holographic. It's super rare. When we compared the other printings, not many holographic options, you know, other than like golds and things of that nature. So again, you it's a $2 card. 0% seller now. It's a $2 card already. I got these at a dollar. Only 40 listings. And you know what I mean? Uh, and again, all these cards that I say I got, I got them before I created this channel. Because again, this channel only has like three weeks. I got stacks of these cards I just put away only 32 listings why it's gonna get harder to get look quickly goes up to 250 and i see then there's a wall at three but i see this at five dollars sooner rather than later who knows it might blow up to 10. you know i could five to 10x that's what i did You're, there's still room for two 2.5x as a minimum maybe even 5x in the future if it's a 10 dollar car don't sleep on this card much needed for the format guys then thunder king raya wow i love this card i love not the commons not the gold rares but the secret rare promotional gx manga wow that thing looks clean and then you have the ot obviously you know what i mean that thing if you see this card it looks like it's turned on it looks like a light bulb just how it shines and the electric you know the the, the wow this card wow man look at that it is dumping recently that's good it was a 200 billy card and let's see dumping down to 150 so that is not bad that's good i mean only let's see if we clean this up only 23 listings it's ultimate rare of course the card looks beautiful man you know what i mean so if you have them shekels i would definitely go for it but really the one i would go for of course unless i go budget like common or gold rare would be the secret rare just that perfect mid max rarity hard card to get only 16 listing is is a 40 dollar card quickly goes up to 50 and beyond it just looks lovely and it's a broken effect stop searching stops a special summon why not why not the car looks beautiful definitely one to keep in mind then we have test tiger you know glad glad beast played in edison um this card doesn't have too many printings um as we see here we have an ultra rare another ultra rare gold from the gold series and then a common so me i bought three of these at around tens and uh, wow only four listings i had no clue yeah i bought them first ed just insane the demand for edison guys look at that just such a hard car to get from legendary collection to you know what i mean i mean and still i got him for tens it's just 11 dollars 50 12 bucks so you still got time for a, a couple of extra copies before i list my place at uh, who knows what price guys and again i i don't do this to sell cards per se it's just that it's edison people ha need it you know i happen to have it i saw this coming you know for the past couple of months you know came in but again if you're gonna play the card look at that guys look at that still not bad 20 bucks gets you these two before it is a 14 or 15 dollar card you know what i mean not many listings not many listings then we have judgment we always discuss this card either for go or edison or current format so many printings that's the good deal I mean, you know, you have Soul and Judgment here, Ultimate Rare from OTS. That card looks beautiful. Retro Pack, Metal Raiders. I personally play the Ghost. Um, you know what I mean? It's like one of my favorite. I also have the OT. Um, you know what I mean? So it's like that. Mm, should it be Ghost? Should it be OT? I love these Ghost Rares. You have Secret Rares, Ultra, Supers, Commons. There's judgments for everyone essentially so just choose your pickings per se recently got a reprint i believe that's a great penny stonk investment as we've reviewed when we reviewed the mason memory sets things of that nature so not bad at all judgment you need it for edison make sure you get your copies to use and to trade or sell as well great that we had this recent reprint so definitely a card to keep in mind then trap does shoot mainly for go format is gonna we're gonna be discussing it there as well because you know you use a play set in that format so not gonna go in too deep but you do see you know champion pack that's exploded already you have the dt i believe you just need one for edison you have the commons you have the dts you know um around there give or take at 15 billies um but yeah it's a 10 11 dollar car insanity there's just again four printings what a surprise the common theme of the day and the demand is there for edison but not just for that but also for gold so hopefully they reprint this card soon and one of those speed dual boxes or whatever because this card definitely 
needs a reprint guys not a bad card at all then we have royal oppression just brokenness brokenness you have rares and more rares and commons and the gold you know rare but this is the one that i would go for dt max rarity man it is money though it is money 17 dollar card i believe it's at two if i'm not mistaken there's a major wall of 60 at 22 man that guy has that monet said there he was ready again broken effect either player can pay 800 life points to negate the special summon of a monster and or an effect that special summons a monster and destroy those just broken continuous right now why not add two in edison just in sanity insanity it's already been a 20 dollar card it is around there already not too many listings in the market so hey if you need the card i mean this is the max rarity this is what i would play if i would be playing the card then you have substitute as well from light of destruction just look at that spike look at that 26 dollar first that original print only eight listings in the market because you do have a couple of wands but that's near 35 wow look at that guys just eight listings the demand is there and single print guys single print just insanity it is a rare you know not a bad card at all then we have uh, elemental hero shout out to the hero community you guys already know we have to make sure we cover at least this card and maybe a couple of more from you guys elemental hero absolute zero again wow it's crazy just four printings common super ultra and then ultra from the manga promotional cards again battles of legend ultra this is the cleanest copy you know it, it, i'm super I, mean, I, I, I would throw the extra shekels at it and i would get this copy just brighter more colorful it just looks beautiful wow look how that card looks insane used to be a 15 dollars. you just see the spike just continually that uptrend here used to be 15 bucks back down to 12 bucks not bad if you need the card only 39 let's see actually only 35 listings don't sleep on it this might be a 15 to 20 dollar card sooner rather than later then we have value value hey we talked about black wings for edison one of the main decks of the format hey black wing value recently reprinted in crystal revenge Re revenge no excuse look at that look at that look at that four printings other than the ultimate obviously it's just the cheap budget secret rare you don't want to get the secret rare from the legendary collection because it's more expensive this is the play either to play or to invest in why it's just so cheap look at that 50 cent plenty of supply no excuses to not get this card a couple of bucks gets you a couple of play sets five bucks a couple of play sets slap it in a binder get your own copy if you need it why not plenty of listings though plenty of supply definitely to keep in mind but this is a card for the long term once this set gets hard to get people you know start damaging copies and get lost and then the supply dwindles out down and you want to be ready for that moment then you have a lure of darkness again getting a reprint in that speed dual box coming soon can't wait secret rare that's what i'm gonna focus on but again you run one in edison most people probably prefer the secret but in case you need extra copies again it's a card that we recently you know went over this ultra rare does not look bad clean copy again it's a two dollar and 25 cents card not bad at all but it's either between this or the secret for me once i get the secret i don't use a lyric because i play light swings but i'm definitely i'll have it to the side in case i build a dark edison deck so mirror force good for goat you know good for so many different formats edison as well just broken so many listings their secret rares i love those personally i play the dark beginning super rare it's just it's old school at the same time just it looks clean i love it i love it but you have original print you know you have secret rares which i own as well dusa underrated that thing looks clean that's a good thing plenty of mirror forces plenty of commons easy access but a card that you definitely want to be exposed to just like heavy storm guys heavy storm same deal you know what i mean uh it has many printings as well but the ultra rare looks clean not bad at all and then you have uh the rare from dark legends and uh, hobby league as well but uh yeah this is the one that i personally run again from dark beginning super rare looks clean i also own the ultra but i don't know why i just like the feel to that super rare <clears throat> again guys you have raiko main main monster for lines light swords in the edison um format and some other decks even use them as well because it's just broken it, it is it has a flip effect which we're going to discuss 
uh, pretty briefly but uh, you have the super rare first that original print up there in price then you have the gold rares again i own the gold rares i rarely like gold rare cards but in this instance paying you know 50 bucks for a place out of this nah man you know i'll prefer ten dollars get a place that live to fight another day but again the, you can destroy one card of the field and then you mill it's just broken so many strategies love milling cards and then you get a pop on the field excuse me it's just too good it's too good people run play sets of these for the most part some people too but definitely a card for edison with high demand and the Bree dragon same deal the good thing is that you have a super rare from the turbo pack ultimate rare looks so nice but then the secret rare looks beautiful i personally have one copy of these then you have dual terminal and then you have the super rare bought a place set. why not listings are going down it's cheap you know when i see things like that at 50 cents i mean there's major walls though but that's good it gives you a chance to get a place i forget about it and then this is a dollar card soon you know what i mean due to the edison hype so you can double up easy not a bad card to pick up then you have gores gores i personally run the, the ghost rare you guys already know it's just my one of my favorite rarities if it would have an ultimate i would prefer that but then it would spike in value and be super high so again for for 15 20 bucks as a market price i'd go again i run one you know i think it was at one right so why not just go for the ghost but again you have retro pack secrets i have a couple of those stacked the way they look lovely dark legends as well easier to guess so you have plenty of of possibilities and options but definitely consider and have those in mind you have card trooper as well secret rare dt you know what i mean ultra rare and then collect the rare recently i would go with the secret rare from battles of legends relentless revenge guys i love this card secret rare it just looks beautiful it does i i, I won't lie only 32 listings a dollar fifty quickly becomes two don't sleep on card trooper broken effect for that format don't take cheap for granted then we have uh dandelion again for plant broken i think it was at two semi-limited when we went over the band list a hundred dollars that's triple digits for the ots yo that's crazy you have shonen jump ultras you have secret rares i have a couple of these on limbs unfortunately then you have dusa so plenty of options super rares commons gold but you know if i'd go budget i'd go for the dusa um copy if i want a little bit more bling i would go either for the shonen jump or the secret rare but really focus on the secret rare the dusa again budget option that is good you can get it looks clean at a dollar 25 quickly goes up to two though so make sure you snipe those up only 39 listings the card looks lovely but the one that i would focus on would be the secret rare guys yeah it just it would be we i mean first that let's see it's probably worth monet but let's just take a look ah, oh wow not bad eight dollars and sixty cents not bad at all go star sellers here only 10 listings guys so this is a deal that i brought to you guys at eight billies you can get your copy so 16 20 bucks with tax gets you your two needed for your deck don't sleep on this card quickly becomes obviously 10 but then eventually you know it's going to be a 15 20 card only one page don't sleep on this card either upstart as well it's just such a great card it thins your deck i would go for the ultra rare there is a super rare and a rare you know and the super rare looks clean budget option but i'd shed the extra couple of uh shekels here and i would just buy for 10 bucks here i would buy first ed um ultra rare max rare well I, yeah i mean i think there's uh another super rare from like a turbo pack or something like that but again ultra rare i believe it is the max rarity quickly becomes 15 then 20 don't be the one paying for 15 20 no just pay 10 save those extra couple of bucks only look at that look at that we cleaned this up janitor Stop. only eight listings guys hey look most of these are just single copies i mean you only need one so definitely a card that you're gonna want to get then the same for book of moon guys book of moon you know what i mean it has so many great printings um ultimate rare just looks so nice but if you don't want to shed those 85 billies i would just get where are you speed duels not here oh man we went that in our previous speed duels market watch that's the one that i would get you have, you have other secret rares and platinum rares ultra this thing has all rarities commons you know what i mean but book of moon would do this to me look this is the one that i would be what the all right live editing done cheap guys look at that uh secret rare this is the one that i would get it is spiking as of late so that doesn't help yikes you know it's a ten dollar card now 
but I can't blame him. The card just looks too nice. It does. It looks bright. Uh, this is the copy that I have. Play the OT in my gold format, and then I have this copy for Edison. I love how it looks. Don't sleep on Book of Mooney, man. My body has a shield. The tech plays in Edison format. Broken card effect. Again, this is a common, I believe so, but not too many printings as you would think. Look at that. Just nine printings. Of course, you have gold, commons, things of that nature. The one that I would get would be either be the Turbo Pack Rare or the DT. This is the one that I run personally. You know, I love how it looks. DT common. You know, um, only five listings. Plenty of there's a wall here. Plenty of copies, but then then it'll get bought out. So if this is the one you want, only five listings. Make make sure to get your copy sooner rather than later. Same with Chimera Tech for Fortress Dragon goes in most extra decks it's just broken you can use this with cyber dragon back in edison as well and you know just get rid of anything and those problems and and it's just a great card so 50 cents major walls plenty of supply no excuse to not get this card then we move on to jd jd all hail to the king i love lice ones this is my deck in edison um ot is in the stratosphere but again i love it you do have an ultra from battles of legend lights revenge but me i would either get if i'd go budget i'd go dusa love the look love the price budget option if not this is i have one of these and i need to work on getting my second one i have the unlim unfortunately because the first sets are like what 100 and just way up there in price but let's see uh let's take a looky here let's clean this up janitor style man man look at that first ed at 225 insane and then there's just a couple of unlimbs before those are gone and almost triple digi so yeah i'm gonna have to pay that premium because i already have one but we'll see what happens broken card plenty of options don't sleep on the king jd necro garden the same deal i have the ot but you know there's plenty of printings if i if again budget options this is the one that i would target secret rare first ad you know from legendary collection this is what i would go to look at that just a dollar 52 bucks gets you your copy you know all you need is one 17 listings there is another secret rare as well but you know from here raw yellow mega pack but this is the one that i personally like the most but any secret rare would suffice you do have the commons the t gold rares but no 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 secret rare max rarity same for plague spreader zombie again i have the ot for this um but then i also have the do so this is the budget way to go you do have a super and then ultra and commons and gold but if it's not ot then go for the do so you can't go wrong with that card looks beautiful and it's still budget at a dollar fifty you know what i mean quickly goes up to two and then 250 so you don't want to be paying five dollars a premium down the line you play zombies or you just need it you know um for lice ones or just any other decks um in edison don't sleep on this card then you have royal decree recently reprinted as a rare not bad just shuts down traps broken effect you know what i mean <laughs> in retro formats i personally have the dark beginning love how this card looks but this thing has spiked into oblivion yeah i always go retro i like you know my dark beginning cards and things of that nature but you have plenty of options that's a good thing you know what i mean the dusa that's the one that i would go budget ultra rare looks beautiful look at that recent spike due to edison but if you don't like dusa then you have super rare you know you have um uh, dual devastator ultra so plenty of options to keep in mind then you have torrential tribute guys just such a broken card so many printings i would get the secret rare some people there's also a collector rare now but i would just get the secrets that's just great bang for your buck you know five bucks gets you this copy not bad you have you know other ultras and rares and you know dark beginning and things of that nature but hey that's the one that i would focus on then we have dimensional risen such an underrated card broken effect bad in back in edison format you have the super rares from you know the ds game impossible to get you have the ultras which are up there in price you know both of these ultras then you have you know uh commons and rares i mean this one the ultra again it's spiking up let's see wow that's already a 15 dollar card first that's near 30 insanity the demand look at that spike due to edison i would just get the rares honestly it's not common it's not truly hollow but you know great wall here thankfully gamer's choice almost 500 copies but 
hey if you need the card get it sooner rather than later just 18 listings in the market again not bad a dollar 25 i could see this card being a couple of more bucks who knows maybe even five dollars down the line so you want to make sure you get this copy now then on is such an underrated card you have secret rare dt commons golds platinum but this is the one you guys already know dusa you see the spike as of late card is just good and it looks beautiful that deuce of rarity is perfect for honest really honestly huh <laughs> no pun intended so it's a three dollar card quickly goes up to 350 and eventually to five just 25 listings i have a play set and it looks beautiful you know i have my copy my copies from my deck and then a play set in the binder why not the card just looks lovely the deuce of rarity fits perfectly with this card then you have cyber dragon i have one ot need to work on getting the second one now people are targeting this once again come on i've been sleeping on this but there's just so many printings for cyber dragon it's not even funny so getting access is not the problem i think is even getting reprinted soon again um you know there's a ghost rare as well ultimate rare there's plenty of you know um options so that's good alternate art secret alternate art ulti you know what i mean dt ultras dusa even dusa this is again if i wouldn't have well i have one and one i have the ot and i have this one for the ot we see it's currently spiking off the 65 dollar lows wow quickly an 80 dollar card and if you clean this not that many listings look at that not that many listings only 20 it's an ots ot harder and harder to get as time flies by so again but this is the one that i would choose if i don't want to shed that money for the ultimate rares 13 bucks perfect guys this is you only need two so 25 dollars gets you two copies only 22 listings this looks clean from the 2006 collector's tin insane this is what i would be targeting then you have starlight road here it is you have a budget option with the ultra rare brothers of legend the gold rare the rare you know and all that i would choose either of these two copies legendary collection ultra it just looks clean but really i would just go for the secret rare max rarity why not i mean the card is not that expensive you only need is it one or two i don't remember right now i think it might be two is it i mean the whole point is that secret rare at four or five dollars still good there's a big wall here that's good around five bucks definitely could see this card at ten dollars one day just 26 listings the demand is there supply is dwindling you don't want to be the guy paying 10 bucks for this card just get the amount of copies you need and then forget about it then you have how do you tragodia i believe oh man guys this is this is the ultimate rare it looks beautiful lovely up there in price and you have commons rares this is what i would go for honestly shonen jump ultra rares a spike recently you know what i mean card used to be five bucks that's when i got it went up to 18 now retracing back to the mean at 13 don't sleep on this isn't an easy 20 dollars card soon a couple of walls so that's good but get your copy just get your copy foolish as well we discussed it recently in one of our previous market watches many many printings dt doesn't look bad at all lost art doesn't look bad at all if i could choose i'd go with the secret rare you know i believe there's a secret rare from speed do as well that's the one that i play um but this secret rare as well at around ten dollars not bad you only need one so make sure you get your hands on that card giant trinade as well just broken just broken being able to re reverse you know all, all your opponents you know spelling trap to their hand <clears throat> it just clears the field for you to do what you need to do so broken card i believe it's getting reprinted yet here in the spell ruler anniversary edition but don't sleep on it not too many holographic printings you have a super here and then you have uh where's the a super here and then the reprint obviously but definitely a good card to get your hands on then you have mst you know i love this card it has a ghost fear and ot you know i have them both um this is the one i play in gold that thing looks wow that shh. i mean whoever can get their hands on it should that is worth it um and but then the ghost rare is that mid max that's what i would choose guys you got favorite rarity second favorite rarity so I would, of course you have secret rares dts ultra supers rares calm everything you want so pick your choosings or choose your pickings or however you say that phrase but the whole point is you know ghost rare this is where it's at some people don't like gold ghost rares whatever but for me at, at what 17 bucks definitely count me in definitely playing that before it gets to 25 dollars you don't want to be the guy paying for that you save eight bucks get yourself a copy of ghost rare mst i personally use it and it looks too beautiful not to own then the same thing for system down 
against cyber dragons against machine in that format look at that super rare ots why not guys it looks clean two dollars and sixty cents quickly after those that play set it quickly goes up to five dollars so don't sleep on the card just 17 listings super hard to get just get your copies as soon as possible same for dd crow i think it's getting that secret rare wow that thing's gonna look beautiful getting that secret rare guys yo and that speed dual box oh boy i'm gonna get me so many of those but in the meantime ultra rare from battles of legend crystal revenge not bad at a billy at a buck a pop just get your playset, set then get the secrets and then when everyone forgets about crow when it comes back into the meta and it's hard to get you have all your copies lined up then we have consecrated light also another side deck card for edison i mean the holographic version 15 bucks quickly goes up to 20 and then 25 just such a hard car to get broken effect Man, i don't know what else to say it does have common options and things of that nature only three printings but people want the shiny that looks nice that artwork that shiny version but hey unless it gets a reprint you're gonna have to pay that premium then you have brain control you have dt you have super rares commons plenty and plenty of printings but i would go either budget with the dusa or just go for the secret rare. it also has ot but you know this is the one that i personally use i have an unlimited version um and yeah it's a 15 dollar card quickly goes up to 20 only 13 listings you don't want to sleep on this card it looks lovely i love the secret rare but again if you want a little bit more uh budget option here uh you make sure to click duelist saga look at that guys look at that four dollars um and then quickly goes up to five not too many listings only 16 not too many sellers hey i mean i would just go for it man it looks beautiful unless you go for the secret rare then you have bottomless right now with trap tricks labyrinth a lot of trap decks you know the card has um and that additional meta relevant interest but then for edison as well just broken guys broken many printings mostly commons you know you have the ultras from the battles of legend then you have the this is one that looks nice but me secret rares where it's at this thing looks clean we clean this up here's a 17 dollar card insanity quickly goes up to 20 and beyond 21 listings i can't blame it because edison things gonna look fly and fresh off the press in your deck lightness and light and darkness dragon you know only five printings most people don't talk about this card but we do here we talk about all them cards you guys already know secret rare looks nice but that's up there in price the secret rares super rare come and this is the, this is that mid max you know right balance here this is the one that i would go for five dollar card man i have the card if i wouldn't i would snipe this up you know and then quickly it goes up to 10 not too many listings not just 15 not too many sellers not too major walls so again you want to get the card sooner and later or even invest in it not a bad card super hard to get then you have the nimble mega hamster this is the one that i would focus on it is if we clean this up right here 11 dollars 25 cents okay yeah and there's a couple of walls there so basically 11 12 bucks only 17 listing secret rare max ready just looks lovely many people use that to bring raiko um just only three printings common super and secret definitely would get this card sooner rather than later then you have the treeborn frog it has an ultimate rare but budget wise this is the one that i would focus on you know what i mean again only eight listings insane a five dollar card quickly goes on to 10 then 20 and beyond guys wow the demand is there you want to get this card sooner rather than later definitely don't sleep on the frog then you have battle fader to protect your battle phase broken broken in edison format level one fiend secret rare max rarity would be ot but this is mid max at around nine ten bucks not bad to get your copies only eight listings you know what i mean again there's a dusa that's what i would go if i really would want to go budget there's a dt commons but again this is the beautiful one to go for and then the last card of the day guys beckoning light mainly used with light swords again that's the deck that i play this is i believe is max rarity if i'm not mistaken uh, i might have a turbo pack or a... let's see we're gonna check that very briefly broken effect works beautifully with light sworn as we can see here yeah you do have the super rare turbo pack but ultra rare is max rarity only eight printings mostly common you do have a super rare budget version here as well so that's good holographic but i would just go for the max rarity ultra rare again you see here 
There's one at $1.20. Nice. Another one at $1.20. Easy. That's good. That's good to see the, these sellers offering, you know, uh, deals per se. But quickly, it becomes a $5 card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it quickly becomes a $5 card. And then the wall's at 6 bucks. But other than that wall, not too many. Hey, seven listings, not too many sellers in market with plenty of copies. Only this major wall here before, you know, the price goes into, you know, oblivion. So uh, basically, guys, great card. Great choice. Mainly for Lice Sworn, guys. So wow, what an episode today. Again, extremely long video apologize for those that are looking for shorter video and do not apologize for those that are looking for longer videos here is that hopefully you guys enjoy the content hopefully you can learn you know um again shout out to gree you know hopefully i did a good job explaining edison and just going over the cards um that you would need for the format again interesting ban list i'll try and leave the links in the description down below um yeah just amazing ban list nothing like the ones today just so many cards on the ban list it is insane then you have the dax you you know black wings and, and lice ones and heroes heroes i know the hero communities out there you got zombies and glad beasts man what a time to be alive in 20 and guys if you made it this far i don't know what else to say like you guys just oh man you guys are amazing i really appreciate it you know a lot of work goes into the channel we're pumping content out daily you know um and uh we're just here for the community just to answer those questions to provide that value hopefully my content can serve as purpose just to help you know the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, uh community and people to make just better investment decisions that's why ygo fresh off the press was created guys so again i hope you really guys enjoy the content if you haven't subscribed already click the subscribe button just a click away some people think they're subscribed but they don't realize it just make sure it's click click the notification bell to stay tuned for our fresh off the press daily content guys guys i want to thank you so much really for your time for your attention and for your support and i hope you guys have a good one